Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sue from Homestay with Sue. And today I'm going to show you how to make your homemade brown sugar. I'm going to go ahead, whoops, go ahead and lift this up. And I'm, it says to use one cup sugar and one tablespoon of molasses to make light brown sugar. But I'm actually making, I'm going to make two cups. So I'm going to, this is a two cup measure. I'm just going to go ahead and put two cups of sugar in. So there's two cups. And then two tablespoons of molasses. Turn this on, lock it, and turn it on low. Until it all mixes together nicely. And this is for a light um, brown sugar. If you wanted a darker one, you would add two tablespoons of brown sugar to one cup of sugar. All right, this looks perfect to me. I'm gonna get you a little closer. I'm going to go ahead and pour this into my canister for my brown sugar. Of course, get it on the floor because, you know, on me. I'm going to bake some stuff with it today, like, um, Maybe some zucchini bread and some other objects. So I needed some brown sugar and I didn't have any. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut up our zucchini which is extremely large. I let it go way too long, so the only thing it's really good for is zucchini bread. <coughs> I've already washed it. I'm going to cut the end off. For this recipe, I need, uh, because I'm doubling it, I will need one cup of soft, softened butter, which I have in the microwave right now, two and a half cups brown sugar, four cups of shredded zucchini, two teaspoons of vanilla, four large eggs, and one cup of sourdough starter. And then for the dry ingredients, I'll need four cups of all-purpose flour, Two teaspoons, I mean, two, no, four teaspoons of cinnamon, two teaspoons of baking soda, four teaspoons of baking powder, and I've got some nuts I'm going to go ahead and put in, and then um, we'll mix it all together and get it in our loaf, our buttered loaf pans. I'm going to actually spray ours, um, and then cook them at 350 for, um, 
50 minutes to an hour and we'll check them at 50 see if they're done I'm going to go ahead and shred it all. What I don't use, I'll put in the freezer. And I'm doing a medium shred on it. pieces out that won't shred. You don't need to watch me do all of this, so I'm going to shut you off for a minute. All right, so I had a little brain lapse. Because the seeds are so big in this, um, I sh should have removed the seeds before I started uh, chopping it. So the batch that I already got done... I will go through it and check for seeds. And that way we don't have big seeds in our zucchini bread.
So I'm going to go ahead and shut you off again, and then um, I'll be back. So, all right, we're going to get our uh, dry ingredients together. So it's four cups of all-purpose flour. One. Two. Three. And four. Get this out of my way. I have already um, sprayed my loaf pans. So I need two, no, I need four teaspoons of cinnamon. teaspoons of baking soda four teaspoons of baking powder Alright, we're going to stir this all together. Okay, that's all ready to go. Then for our wet ingredients, we have one cup of softened butter, which I have softened in the microwave, a half a cube, I mean a cube in each one. And then we'll need one and a half cups brown sugar. This is the brown sugar that we just made. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix this together. Make sure it's locked. Now we're going to put in two teaspoons of, I forgot to put the salt in to this other mixture, and it was a table, or a teaspoon also. So I'll stir that around again. Uh, two teaspoons of vanilla, which I'm just going to pour it in there, one. A little extra, never hurts anything. And then we got four large eggs. Go ahead and lock it down. Get that mixed together. Gonna 
wipe this off so that when I stick it into my sourdough starter, I don't get flour all over it. In it. So then I need a cup of sourdough starter. Mine is very active. Most people do not keep this much sourdough starter on hand. I just have an issue, apparently. So, I'm going to go ahead and get it in there. butter all over my hand. I'm going to go ahead and add the zucchini in there. Now this probably would have been smarter if I would have used a bowl that I could actually pour out of. So I'm going to use this measuring cup to put some in. I knew that was going to happen. I knew better. That's why I didn't put it in there with it moving. You guys probably watch me just to see how much mess I make. Which I don't blame you if that's why you're watching. Because, you know, it's, it's funny to be interacted with. That way I know I'm not the only one laughing at me. I'm going to go ahead and push down this flour that got all over the side of the bowl. I'm going to go ahead and add my nuts. It's, um, it's however many you want. Mine, I have uh, hazelnuts. I beat them up with a rolling pin. Okay. So now I'm just going to scrape this beater off and get ready to put them into my my uh, already sprayed um, 
nine by fives. Let's take this off. And my oven is already preheated to 350. We'll bake it for 50 minutes to an hour. Okay. Wipe the mess off the side of this bowl. Actually, it's not a bowl, it's a nine by five little pen. I do that to settle the bubbles. And now we're going to cook it. And I'll be back when it's done. Alright, so my zucchini bread is cooked for 50 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and just shove this. It's like a toothpick. It's by Pampered Chef. My daughter gave it to me. So I use it all the time. Just check to see if it's done, and that one is definitely done. And that one is done. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you let the bread cool a little bit before you try to eat it because it's really hot. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.